You talked a lot about externals and then internals. And, uh, you know, I think, I think diversity just for diversity's sake can actually sometimes be a problem. For instance, if I, if I said, you know, here is a glass of wine, here is a glass of water, here is a glass of poison for diversity's sake, would you try all three? And to, to clarify for people, uh, you know, what virtues does diversity submit to, you know, what, cause we're not talking about internal diversity. We're talking about a unity in Christ. We're talking about, uh, these things that bring us together in Jesus. Uh, but in terms of external diversity to, to establish that, what virtues do we submit diversity to in order to, to really you right. know, make sure the community is tracking in the same way with our heart language? Yeah, I mentioned quickly, but every culture has positive elements that ascribe glory to God or that are in line with scripture. And every culture has negative elements that are against God and that um, go against what we've been given in scripture. So clearly the person of Jesus and scripture um, are our unifying elements and we all submit to those. And in fact, in a multicultural community, um, I find that multicultural Christian community is a sanctifying method. Why? Because I read my Bible through my lens as a white American. But when I sit with my brother who's from Sudan and read the Bible together, he has insights that I've never considered. And he sees blind spots in, mm. in my life that I don't see because they're a blind spot in our culture, right? Mm. Um, and as we get together and as we learn from one another and push back on each other, um, we actually find it's a sanctifying process that the Holy Spirit uses that to make us more like Jesus and line us up more with That's the truth great. of who God is.